Hello, hello. Ah, ba ba. Hello, everyone. Good to see you again. Uh, I have a new webcam, first off, so you might notice some weird glitches with my eyes and stuff. Don't worry about that. I don't have auto-blink on anymore, so I can... I can blink all I want. I can wink at you now. Kinda. Kinda. Uh, uh, uh. Sorta. <laughs> I am joined by my lovely cast of voice actors say to voice over you and me and her a love story oh my god uh songo thank you for the raid how are you doing how was your stream <laughs> let me give you a shout out here oh my god what what the heck the double raid right off the start nina thank you for the raid I think I beat my alert to that. <laughs> How you doing, Raiders? My name is Classy BT. I am a Fallen Angel VTuber. We're just about to start our um, playthrough of you, me, and her. A love story. Winter, hi! How you all doing? How you all doing? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that right off the start. Thank you guys for the raids. Let me give you guys some shoutouts real quick. Hold on. Hello, Roddy. How you doing? So, as I was saying, I am joined by my lovely voice actors here. Would you all like to introduce yourself, starting with Amumu? Amumu? Hello, my fellow degenerates. I am Amumu Sama. I am a variety streamer. Uh, I'm a vampire. And uh, let's have fun. <laughs> and uh, if you guys are curious, this is all our people that we're hanging out with today. Uh, if I can spell that correctly. Cheer, would you like to introduce yourself to all of our viewers? No. Fuck you. Introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Cheer. I go by Curious Cheer. Uh, uh, I'm a variety uh, streamer. There we go. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm eating dinner. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the plugin is actually in Stream Elements itself. If you look up the awesome shoutout um, overlay, I think it's called. That's how you do it. Happy birthday. What? Whose birthday is it? Dish, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Dish. <laughs> Good introduction. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna turn Dish into an actual VTuber and streamer, everyone. Everyone encourage Dish to start oh, yeah. streaming, please. <laughs> and Hime, would you like to introduce yourself? I am also a variety streamer, but focus more on art. And it's a pleasure to meet you all. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on with this Hime, happy birthday? Isn't there... hmm? Really quick, Hime, don't you want to introduce a certain something? Certain event that may be coming up? Oh, that depends. Classy, am I allowed to? Yeah, go for it. What's, what's going on? Oh, well, I finally got my model done for my actual debut. <gasps> oh my gosh! Ooh. Congrats! Yeah. A year, exactly a year ago, I started out as a VTuber. Just just because I started, but this time I'm having an official debut. Yo, let's go. Do you have a date for that? Um, I'm planning it for the end of the month. Nice, the nice. Alright, everyone make sure to check out Hime's debut at the end of the month, please. And yeah, without further ado, we're gonna get right into this game. Um, The reason why I don't have it preloaded up is actually because it just drops right into the game. So I'm going to load it up now. I don't know what you guys are going on with Happy Birthday. I don't understand. I know the Happy Birthday has fallen upon you. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, Parrot Love Story. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Happy Birthday. <laughs> Crimson Eye. Don't even want the context behind this. Start game. Uh, does it want to pop up on stream? Yes, it does. And then I'll share my screen on Discord. And we should be good. I look okay for you guys. Thanks for 
the bits. Winter, thank you for the bits. And I will drink the water. Alright. It's time for me to start. Life is like a staircase. Happy birthday. <laughs> you just gotta keep climbing. Otherwise, if you start to overthink it, you'll have trouble uh, taking the next step. There are no branching paths. No point in regretting the actions you didn't take. They say life is a series of choices, but that's nonsense cooked up by the old and bitter. Can I make this text faster at all? Uh, once the Steam notification pops up from the corner of my screen, I'm going to see if I can do the... No, I, I don't want to exit. Uh, I don't... Oh, there we go. Config. Uh, text display speed a little bit faster. There we go. Uh, yeah, I said that already. Yesterday leads to today, and today leads to tomorrow. One step at a time. What lies ahead? You won't know until you get there. So how's the audio, by the way, on stream? Is that okay, everyone? At the top of the staircase, I step outside into the dazzling sunset. This is the school roof. Most students are barred entry. You'd think I'd be used to the view from up here, but evidently a few hours is the difference all it takes to make the world look brand new. Uh, Yuteru, you up here? I think that's how you say his name. No response. The peaceful autumn breeze is all that greets me. Grass has sprouted between the cracks and the concrete, and the pile of desks on the far side is rusting from exposure to the elements. Up here, it almost feels like a forgotten place lost to time. I love it. Specifically, I love the 360 degree view of the town uh, below. I've lived my whole life here. Every inch of this town is packed with nostalgic memories. The longer I look out at it, the calmer I feel. When they randomly voted me onto the campus cleanup committee, I wasn't exactly eager. But if I'd known about this little side perk sooner, maybe I would have volunteered for the job. Roof access is only granted to two groups, the astronomy club for stargazing and the cleanup committee to haul desks in and out. That said, I'm told there are plenty of spare keys floating around if you know where to look. The school roof has a certain legend attached to it, you see. As a result, Every now and then, other students will ask me to unlock the door for them. Which is why I'm up here today. At the behest of my friend, Yuteru. Unfortunately, he seems to be running late. Hmm? I look down. There's a cell phone lying face down on the ground by the door. Whose is this? I crouch down and pick it up. There's an incoming call from God. That's kind of ironic. From God? Before I can answer, the ringing stops. Admittedly, I'm a little relieved. Seriously, whose phone is this? Uh, maybe I can call someone on it. Let's place a phone call. Oh, I don't know any... Wait, contacts? No. What if I call 911? That doesn't work. God was calling classy. <laughs> what the? Wait, it worked. Did I misdial? No, wait. Even if I did, this still doesn't make sense. Whenever there's a problem connecting a call, normally you're supposed to hear one of those automated messages, right? Alright, Winter, thank you! Hope you have a good rest of your night if you don't make it back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I appreciate you coming by. It's like this phone is broken or something. I decided to check the call history. God. 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 What the heck? Next, I check the address book. There's only one entry. Yep, you guessed it. God. A burner phone for God? 
There's no way this actually belongs to the big man upstairs, right? Huh? A girl looks back at me. My battery is dying. What battery? Need to recharge. Wanna get zappy? I think I pushed the wrong button by accident. Looks like I launched one of those visual novel games. I've seen some friends play these on handheld console, uh, game consoles. Wouldn't be surprised if they made the jump to mobile, too. Never played one myself. At least, I don't think I have. But I feel like I recognize that uniform. Do I know you? I can hear a strange voice. I'm just going to adjust the audio a little bit. It's a little tiny bit loud. There's a girl up on the roof over the stairs. Raising her hand straight in the air. Her expression, totally blank. Just staring vacantly into the sky. Staring at whatever lies beyond. Huh? Her body starts to sway. Her voice is fading. Whoa! Ow. You alright? Uh, her eyes lock on to mine. My battery is dying. What battery? Need to recharge. Her face is so close to mine. I can feel her breath on my skin. Her lips are inches away. According to the school legend, if two people share a kiss on the roof, their love will be internal. Wanna get zappy? Oh shit, do I get zappy? Fuck it, boys, let's get zappy. Something travels through my body and across my skin, frying all sense of a reason uh, to a char. Pulled in like a magnet, my lips are drawn to hers. And this is, uh, Yuhime. Wow. Is nothing sacred? <laughs> what exactly are you doing up here on the roof on our esteemed academy? Uh, Mayuki? What am I doing? Oh, well... Recharging. What? Kissing. What? 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 <laughs> Kissing triggers the event flag. I heard enough. Miyuki swings her baseball bat. Don't treat Sinichi like your plaything. Yeah, yeah, I'm not your plaything. Nichi is he's He's my boyfriend What? I've been friends with So and Miyuki for since we were kids. In elementary school we used to play together all the time, but we grew apart as we got older. It happens to a lot of people. Well, I've just been skating through life without any hobbies, she's quickly proven she can master anything she tries. With her looks, smarts, athletic ability, 
and a natural talent for acting. She's become the school's queen bee practically overnight. Rumor has it she received over a dozen love confessions within her first month at this school. I'm told two of them were from girls, and one of them was even from a teacher. Supposedly, she shot them all down. But they say one of the guys refused to take no for an answer, and she was forced to fight him off with a baseball bat. She's so famous, the students here can't t uh, seem to stop talking about her. Then there's me, a total nobody. I'm so invisible. I'm practically air. Bland, inoffensive, barely even there. An utterly forgettable NPC character in the RPG of life. I'm hardly even worth breathing the same air as her. Just being around her is making me kind of tense. So yeah, I'm like the furthest thing from... Your... Boyfriend? You be quiet! She, she needs she and I aren't in a relationship. I'm afraid you don't have a chance with him. So could you leave already? That's not true. You're not dating. Excuse me? How do you know? I'm a transceiver. God sent me a radio transmission from beyond the universe. Uh. Seems like she's two corn dogs short of a picnic. Whatever. Talking to you is a waste of breath. Listen here, Shinichi and I have known each other a long time. So, as his girlfriend... Got it. She raises her hand, interrupting Miyuki. You're the childhood friend character. Your true feelings are a mystery. A staple of visual novels. Visual novels? Oh, you mean like this one? I hold up the cell phone I found earlier. Whoa! Was that a static shock I just felt now? Eve. The phone falls from my now numbed fingers. She definitely snatches it back. Uh, she definitely snatches it back and shoots me in. Accus I, I, I don't know. Uh, look! <laughs> I didn't steal it. It was lying on the ground over there. On the ground? Yeah. Mm. So I owe you a favor. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but... I'll make it up to you. Uh... Let's get zappy. Hold it right there! Yuki is now visibly trembling with rage. What was you called me? The child friend character? Are you seriously comparing me to a character in a video game? Yep. Get real! She slams her bat down as hard, uh, she slams her bat down hard on the concrete. Life is not a video game. You hear me? My feelings are the real deal. Some video game character can't possibly compare to. Got it. Miyuki's tone is dripping with fury, but the girl raises her hand like she doesn't even notice. Can you kiss him? What? If you're really dating, you can kiss him, right? But that has nothing to do with kiss him right now should be easy right miyuki's face is so red the sunset can't even compare fine it's just a kiss per perfectly normal for us to I can do it. I can kiss him. But if we... Mm. Oh, uh, 
Listen, if you're opposed to it, we really don't have to. I'm not opposed to it. Tell the truth. I was always waiting for this. As kids, we were two peas in a pod. When did it all fall apart? Why did I start to distance myself? I'm really happy you asked me to meet you up here. Miyuki? Her voice is barely a whisper. This will be my first kiss. But I'll give it. Awkward. Yeah. I just prefer to keep private matters private. That's all. Public displays of affection are far too shameless. Sinichi, the two of us are dating, aren't we? What? I I don't. Make it clear to her. You're the one who called me up here, after all. Your actions pushed me to make up my mind, and. Wait, what? I did what now? Don't play dumb. I know you wrote this. Miyuki pulls out a letter out of her pocket. To Miss Son Miyuki. I'll be waiting on the rooftop after school. There's no signature. I've never seen this letter in my life. Wait. What? Wait. Now that I look at it, this isn't your handwriting. That's you, Dish. Sorry, I'm late. Arriving just in the nick of time. Akebono Yotaro, captain of the Boys and Dreams Club. I fucking love your voice with this character, Dish. Holy shit. <laughs> of course. It was this idiot. A rooftop confession, a legendary kiss, the two action eternal vows of love. Yes, this is what dreams are made of. Me, the gallant prince, and you, the fair maiden. What? Sunny Sun? Visibly struggling to contain herself, Miyuki strides to the door and slams it behind her. Why? Nice going, genius. What? What is go? What? What is something I said? Damn. I must have let all the dreams go to my head. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Forget it. I better save the explanation for later. Or we're gonna be standing up here all night. Hey, you. Bip, bip. Her expression is still completely blank. I don't have the first clue what she's thinking. That whole recharging thing from earlier, what was that about? Recharging my zappy. Okay, well, what's zappy? Kissing. What? You guys were kissing up here? No? Almost. What the hell? I almost... I can't believe I have to explain this. Boop boop. You have to trigger the event flag. You need to raise your affection points, or you'll fail. This isn't a video game. Got it. She raises her hand straight into the air like an antenna searching for radio waves. Holly is a romance option. And this world is a video game. There's a term for people like this. Gamer brain. I'm not sure what the original uh, definition was, but these days we use it to determine someone who can't tell the difference between games and reality. But... 
Your childhood friend with the long dark hair is the main heroine. Holly's route will have to wait. Bye bye. What? Hey, wait! But she ignores me and runs off downstairs. Huh. Bad girl's always such an enigma. What do you mean, always? More importantly, I need you to explain. Why the heck did Sonny-san storm off like that? And now you've got Moko to boot? You punk! Are you a normie? Are you a cut that normie? Wait a second. Do, do you know her? What? Are you serious? That dit? That was Makoi. <laughs> Makoi Aoi. Holy moly. <laughs> She's in our class, dude. Damn. Hold on, I see if the I don't know why there's no music going on. Is that like supposed to be? Maybe. Uh McCoy Owie. The name doesn't ring any bells whatsoever. To be honest, I'm not much of a people person. I'm pretty socially awkward. Like, it's been almost six months and I still don't know the names of all the girls in our class. But that grade A space cadet, it's hard to believe I could forget someone as Unique as her. <sighs> I crawl into bed. Wanna get happy? Back there, on the roof. Everything from her pose to her appearance. Everything she said. It was all identical to that scene from the mobile game. Almost like she jumped right out of the screen and into real life. And the protagonist's name was Suzuki uh, Shinichi too. No. It can't be. I don't have the power to turn video games into reality. Like, why? Whoa there, buddy. Now I'm the one with gamer brain. That visual novel was on uh, Muko's phone. She probably has all the dialogue memorized. She was probably just acting it out. She probably said the protagonist's name to mine on purpose. But why? Forget it. I'm letting my imagination get carried away. I pull the blanket over my head and squeeze my eyes shut. That night in my dreams, I see Miyuki. And we kiss. Start of a new day. Man, that dream I had last night was pretty weird. But I know today will be just the same as always. Just another ordinary... Huh? A letter tumbles out of my shoe locker. I take it to my desk and open it carefully. Half terrified to discover what awaits me inside. Mimi on the roof at lunch. Die! Ah! Uh, you two, were you peeking? First, I find out you're old friends with Sonasan, and then I find out that not only did you try to cheat on her with Moko. But on top of that, you also got this old-fashioned love letter? You're a normie, aren't you? You are! You're a goddamn normie! 
Your God may forgive you, but as captain of the boys in Dreams Club, I, Akebono, Yotaro, will never will. Keep your nose of other people's letters. Sorry. But you know, stuff like this will affect whatever WD Club list to see another day. Ah uh, yes, the boys in Dreams Club. Don't worry, it doesn't make much sense to me either. Yutaro describes the club as for boys who want to pursue their dreams. Personally, I have no idea what that means. The club's actually been around for quite some time, but with a name like that, I, can imagine, uh, I can't imagine many people going out of their way to join. Unsurprisingly, once uh, spring rolled around, Yutaro was on uh, the only member left, and the BD club was on the verge of being disbanded. In the end, he convinced me to join, in name only, purely to keep the club alive. It doesn't matter what I do as long as I stay in the club, right? Hey, 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 my friend. You can pursue a dream you're already living. Just gonna turn it down a little tiny bit more. Although I know there is music and it's very loud at this point. The moment you achieve romantic fulfillment and become a normie, your membership is null and void. This is the oath sworn by the BD boys. Maybe disbanding it is for the best? I'm starting to think so too. Yutsuru may seem like a goofball, but he takes this 100% seriously. No sense in sabotaging a relationship. To keep my club alive, you know. Here. He said something on my desk. That's the game I saw yesterday. After Muko had left, Yuturu demanded uh, to know every last detail of what happened. Obviously, I couldn't tell him about all that stuff Miyuki, uh, Miyuki said. Oh god, I accidentally skipped a lot. Uh, 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 back up. All that stuff Miyuki said. But I did tell him about the visual novel on her phone. I barely gave you anything to go on. How'd you find it? Oh, Ryujiro knows a lot about these games. Who's Ryujiro? My kid brother. You said the heroine looks like... looks dead, unlike Muko. So I showed him the pic of her. So that's all it took. Oh wait, really? Is that actually a thing? I haven't heard that uses a derogatory word before, but... Maybe, I, I'm not sure. I look at the girl on screen. Then I look at the girl sitting a few desks away. They're absolutely identical. Perfect 2D recreation. If you told me the developers modeled their character on her, I wouldn't doubt it for a second. Muko sits silently at her desk. She doesn't try to talk to anyone or play with her phone. She just stares in an empty space. While everyone else is chatting about their morning with their friends, the space around her is perfectly quiet. Like a vacuum. Almost as if she's focusing her entire being on picking up the faintest radio waves from the farthest reaches of space. It. Just then, she thrusts her hand up into the air. Transmission received. Development schedule confirmed. Route in progress. She babbles to no one in particular. But her class is already used to her antics. No one finds her behavior surprising. At least, that's the sense I get. What a weirdo. Nothing against her, but I suggest you set your sights elsewhere. She is one giant headish, headish. Blah, 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 blah. I can't speak anymore. <laughs> You're okay. Headache waiting to happen. Well, huh? I never said I was interested in her like that. Then why are you asking about her? She tried to kiss me on the roof. Obviously, I'm going to be a little bit curious, you know? But 
That's all it is. For your sake? I sure hope so. I've heard some baddy bad pretty bad rumors, dude. Such as? They say she's easy. Not that I buy it, obviously. I mean, she's impossible to talk to, much less anything else. After witnessing her gamer brain antics yesterday, I agree. She seems like she's off in her own little world, or at the very least, totally oblivious to the people around her. She can't carry a conversation to save her life. Hey, Yutaro? Is this game available on the App Store? You can keep it. What? The phone? Yeah. Ryojiro got himself a new one recently. There is no SIM card, so you can make calls with it, but you can download games, no problem. According to him, this is a cult classic NTR game. NTR? What's that? Totally vinyl. It's a visual n novel terminology, I guess. Oh, but I'm getting some BD vibes from it. Uh, I see. Good morning. Miyuki's voice rings out through the classroom. Just like that, all the girls start to gather around her in a giant circle. They start asking her questions like whether she'd seen last night's season premiere or if she'd heard the new store that just opened up in town. No matter the topic, Miyuki answers each one with a grace, sophistication, and a smile. Just like that, she lights up the room, drawing attention from quite a few guys in our class. This happens every morning, and every time it makes me painfully aware of the distance between us. Sone Miyuki is the queen bee, and I'm nobody. A lone flower. Blossoming in a vast desert of his campus. Man, she's so beautiful. Yeah. Here in the classroom, she's the star of the show. But I know she's just playing the part. As her old friend, I know what she's really like. Fussy and plain spoken. D Dude, did you see that? Huh? sunny -san just glanced over at us. Ah, I can't help it. I'm crazy about her. And if I want to pursue this dream, I gotta confess my love. It's destiny. Good luck. I'm rooting for you, man. And yet, even as I speak. Boop, boop. I can't help but glance at uh, Muko out of the corner of my eye. Amid the cheerful chatter, she sits perfectly still, the very picture of loneliness. During class, using my textbooks as cover, I stealthily take out Yuturu's brother's phone and launch the game. Hey, Riscuba, thank you for the prey. How you doing? Uh, her eyes lock onto mine. My battery is dying. What battery? Need to recharge. Wanna get zappy? Yeah, this is definitely the same game from yesterday. The conversation plays out a little differently in the game, but for the most part, it's exactly the same as what happened on the roof. Hi, Emmy! How are you doing, Emmy? Thanks for coming by. I hope you're doing well. The level of pinpoint accuracy can't possibly be a coincidence. <laughs> she must have been intentionally trying to recreate the scene for word for word. Is she really interested in me? 
Whoa there, buddy. Uh, I really don't know what this point that means. I muttered to myself. It's way too early to be drawing any sort of conclusion. Prior to yesterday, Muko and I have uh, never even spoken to each other. Willing myself to keep a level head ever since the game. Hey, I did research beforehand. There's no bad stuff in this game. There is DLC you can get that makes bad stuff appear, but no, the Steam version has nothing bad in it, so we are fine. The heck are you doing? I'm the mommy cat. That's fucking adorable. Nice try, cats don't talk. They meow. Boop, boop. Owie frowns down at herself for a moment. Meow. I'm the mommy cat. That's not what I meant. The scene strikes me as a fam as familiar. It definitely seems like the sort of thing the real world uh, Muko would say, at least. And knowing her pen chant for oddball antics, this can't be sure. Uh, can't be sure she wouldn't do something like this IRL. I shoot a uh, futile glance at the IRL <laughs> Muko. <laughs> There's her trademark pose again. She's not taking any notes. In fact, she doesn't seem to care about the lesson at all. Instead, she just sits there. Hand in the air, staring into empty space. Even in autumn, the afternoon sun is as harsh as ever. Excuse me. My vision is engulfed in a white haze. Eventually, after blinking a few times, my sight finally uh, registers a lone figure. Oh. Shinichi? Staying there is none other than Somiyuki herself, baseball bat in hand. No way. You're the one who invited me up here? No, genius. Did you forget what my handwriting looks like? Oh, right. On top of everything else, she's a master of uh, calligraphy, too. As such, her handwriting is extremely distinctive. Wait. Then how'd you know it was a handwritten invitation? Because I got one, too. She holds up a sheet of paper. I can tell it's the exact same uh, uh, sta sta uh, sta stationery as mine. I, 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 word, I word very good. <laughs> then that means... I can't imagine what she hopes to achieve by doing this. Who? Who, indeed. Let's just wait and find out. Okay, then. We stand there in silence, side by side, gazing out at the town. The clear autumn sky seems to stretch on endlessly. I feel like we need to talk about what happened yesterday. But at the same time, it feels too... personal somehow. It never used to be like this. In the past, we had more of a playful relationship. We had no trouble teasing or joking with each other. But we can't go back to the way we were. In the distance, I hear a crack of a baseball bat. That reminds me... Why didn't she bring the bat? Practice my swing. It's for my next performance. The play's about softball. Interesting. Come to think of it, she was carrying one yesterday, too. You're really dedicated, huh? Well, as a second year, I kind of steal the lead role from the other from the older students, so now I need to earn it. I'm impressed. I close my eyes. In the past, we'd often go to the local indoor batting cage. I remember her long flutter, uh, her long hair fluttering with the motion. The motion of her perfect, beautiful swing. You're lying, aren't you? About what? Needing to practice. You're already a pro. I 
think you overestimate me. Doubt it. You had that bat with you yesterday too, didn't you? There's no way she'd bring a baseball bat to a romantic rendezvous just because. She has more attack than that. Actually, now that I think about it, I remember hearing that she'd used a bat to defend herself from a particularly aggressive admirer. Supposedly the guy who came close to spending the rest of his life on, in a wheelchair. At the time, I thought it was just another overblown rumor, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Or so they say. Is it for self-defense? I mean, partially, yeah. Alright, well, try not to kill anyone with that thing. Shut up! Miyuki pounce. <laughs> She would never let this sly, uh, side of herself show in front of her classmates, but this is the real her. I'm only human. I get scared sometimes. I don't blame her for keeping her guard up around random guys. The rooftop door is the only exit. If it got locked, she'd be trapped, and just like that, her perfect uh, reputation would be destroyed overnight. Looking at her face, I can still see traces of the girl I used to know. I'm sorry. You haven't changed a bit. I can't tell if you're really smart or what the really dog do? Bob, thank you for the raid. How was your stream, friend? What were you up to? Blah, 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 blah. Just in time, we recently started, you and me and her, a love story. It's getting some deep emotional stuff going on, so I hope you enjoy, Raiders. My bad. It's fine. I gave up on you years ago. It's true. We gave up on each other a long, long time ago. Funny. Our mystery letter writer sure is taking her sweet time to get up here. Gee, can't imagine why. We exchanged sarcastic whips. I feel a bit more comfortable now that I know the old her isn't completely gone. That makes it easier to work up the courage to talk to her. Listen. Oh, that's you. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Listen. About yesterday. Yesterday? Oh, right. That! Um. That was all an act, right? To help me get out of the jam? Or that jam? Oh my god, Bob. W would you want to hold a fallen angel's hand? Of course! You look like you really. You look like you were really freaked out. Oh, the timing in that line there. Yeah, it totally threw me for a loop. I mean, I barely even know her. Thank you for showing up when you did. Seriously. No need to thank me. I hardly did a thing. She stares at the ground, letting her guard down in a way that would be unthinkable in front of anyone else. I pause for a moment. Then once she's calm, I ask her again. That love confession. It was all just an act? Right? <sighs> Right. It wasn't real. Just forget it. Alright. I will. There's an unspoken agreement, uh, there's an unspoken agreement between us. The two of us are old friends and nothing more. I have to maintain my distance from her. That much is crucial. Anyway, the Muko-san sure is something else. I notice she's steering the conversation back into safe territory. I guess the rumors are true. She's nuttier than a fruitcake. And with a bad case of gamer brain. The heck is gamer brain? It's when you start to confuse video games with reality. I hate that. Her tone sharpens suddenly. Is that why she always behaves the way she does? She doesn't seem to care about anything, or at least, she never seems to pay much attention. 
Honestly, it infuriates me. Miyuki's the type to always put 100% into everything she does. So it makes sense that she wouldn't get along well with someone as absent-minded as uh, Miyuko. Come on, don't be so hard on her. Having a poor grip on reality can't exactly be easy for her either, you know? That's me. Oh, oh. who's that? Oh, that's... <laughs> Mumu? That's not true. Who's there? Uh, Miyuko? Just like yesterday, she's standing on t uh, up on the roof of the, of the stairs. Have you been there here the whole time? I can tell the difference between reality and fiction. This world is a game. Ali is a romance option. Not this nonsense again. Let's see your proof then. Proof? Mm. Yuko tilts her head, puzzled. Boop, boop. She then starts to put uh, pull down her skirt. Stop right there! What on earth do you think you're doing? I will get naked, and then our world will fade to black. Yeah, uh, I sincerely doubt that. Don't you dare! Have you no shame? What's shameful about it? Uh, you seriously don't know? Surely she's got to have at least some common sense, right? On, for God's sake! Yuko falls silent, as if lost in thought. Okay. Different proof, then. She takes her cell phone out of her pocket. God. God? Yes, the god of visual novels. This world is a video game, a program, and programs can be patched. What's that supposed to mean? And the world will change. Oh yeah? Show us a miracle then, would you? Got it. Muko nods absently and raises her phone into the air. I have a feeling I know who she's calling. Yoko san? What are you doing? I think she's calling God. Since when does God have a phone number? Since never, as far as I know. Yeah, didn't think so. As usual, God shows no signs of picking up. Nevertheless, Muko keeps calling. At this point, it just hurts to watch. Are you done yet? Not until he answers, probably. Knowing Muko, it seems the obvious uh, it seems like the obvious conclusion. That would explain why she suddenly collapsed yesterday. I heard you has a complicated family situation. She does? Supposedly, she never goes home. Sleeps in a different bed every night. Whose beds, though? I'm not sure. Ugh. In the back of my mind, I remember what Yutaro told me earlier. The rumors of her sleeping around. 
Hey, Muko? Or Muko? Maybe your phone doesn't get service up here? Or, I don't know, maybe God's a little busy right now? Boop, boop. You think so? Maybe I doesn't have enough battery, pal. Just get down from there, would you? You wanted to talk to us, right? Three, two, one. Hey, do not jump from there. Boop, boop. Why not? Oh my god. <laughs> because it's not safe, genius. How has she survived this long not knowing these things? Just use the ladder, please. Got it. She proceeds to climb down a little more recklessly than I would have liked. Finally, the three of us are standing on even ground. So, why did you ask us to meet us up here? What? Wait, then that means... You wrote those letters, didn't you? Uh-huh. Well then, first things first, let me make this clear, as you may or may not have already heard. Everything that happened yesterday was a total misunderstanding. Shinichi and I are old friends, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. There's nothing romantic between us. Yeah. It's for the best. Got it. What is it? Plan A. Friendship mission. What? Aoi and Miyuki and Shinichi will all be friends. Okay? Ooh. I want to be friends with her. Sure. That sounds nice. Really? Maybe if she had a couple of decent friends to hang out with, she wouldn't act out like, out like this. You'll have to count on me, though. Or, you'll have to count me out, though. They say men and women can't be friends. But maybe you and Miyuki could. I refuse. Oh, hey, Hudson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. I hope you're having a good day. I feel like you and I are fundamentally incompatible. Looks like that's a hard no. Still, she's right. I can't imagine the two of them getting along very well. Got it. Plan B. Oh, is that you saying that? Or did they just mess up? Oh, I, I think know. they messed up. I can, I can say it. I, th I think they messed up. Uh, Miko holds your cell phone in the air. What the? What exactly did you just do? Photo mission. I'll send this to the whole class. Are you blackmailing us? Boop boop. Is that bad? The look on her face is perfectly innocent. Come on, Miyuki, explain to her. Knock yourself out, Miyuko-san. Are you serious? I mean, it's true, Sunichi, and I hang out- Uh, it's true, Sunichi, and I were up here together. Oh yeah, I don't know if you heard me out, somebody said thank you, thank you, I hope, I hope you have a good day. Maybe you'll give some people the wrong idea, but I can clear it up for them. No problem. If anything, being friends with someone like you would be way more embarrassing. You know what? Let me say two things. One, 
you're free to try all you like. But unless you make some serious changes, you'll never stand a chance at making any friends. Two. Don't call me Miyuki. That's final. With that, Miyuki strides off to the door and down the stairs. Meanwhile, I feel myself unclench. I know she wasn't shouting at me, but still. She's so cool. You, uh, really marched to the beat of your own drum, huh? Boop, boop. Miyuko tilts her head. She looks confused. A regular occurrence for her. Hi, bye. Where are you going? The classroom. Is she seriously intent on showing everyone that photo? Miyuko's gonna get mad, you know. Why? She gave permission. Uh. She seriously has no clue, does she? Why are you trying to get me and Miyuki together in the first place? The protagonist needs to end up with the main heroine. Wouldn't make sense otherwise. So I will request an update patch. There you go again with your dating sim nonsense again. I'm gonna go now. Hold it! Boop boop. Yuko's expression changes slightly, almost imperceptibly. Meanwhile, I'm a little shocked that I yelled at her just now. Obviously, I don't want to sh don't want her to show that photo to anyone. Not when I'm finally starting to enjoy my life as the class wallflower. Rumors start to spread that a pathetic nobody like me tried to confess my love to the queen bee uh, Miyuki. The mere thought has me on edge already. That must be why I yelled after Miyuko to stop that from happening. Right? Look. Didn't you just ask her to uh, didn't you just ask her to be your friend? Isn't that what you want? Friend. She tilts her head again, as if to consider the merits of the word. Ali doesn't really understand friends. I think back to her dress book with its single entry. Alright, tell you what. I take my phone out of my pocket. Let's trade email addresses. It's the first step to making friends. Cool? Trade email addresses? You ready? How do you do it? Oh, right. Obviously she's never done this before. First, you open this menu. Okay, now send me an email. What the... I try to send myself an email using her phone, but it won't send. Do you not have service up here? That's so weird. My phone's getting full bars. Does this mean we can't trade? For some reason, I sense sadness in her blank expression. Thinking quickly, I shoot her a reassuring smile. Don't worry, we can just do it manually. Here. I enter her phone number and email address into my contacts list. Then I show it to her, just in case. Is this correct? Uh huh. A moment of silence passes as she stares back and forth between our phones. What's wrong? Got it. She raises her hand. Does this make us friends? Yeah, I'd say so. Once you're in each other's phones, you're pretty much friends. Shinichi and Aoi are friends? Yep. You and I are officially friends now. Friends. Yuko stares puzzled at the new addition to her address book. A long moment passes. It starts to feel like time has stopped around us. We should probably head back to class. Uh... Earth to Miyuko, are you listening? Got it. Once again, her hand shoots straight up into the air. 
Now that we're friends, you should call me Aoi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not sure about that. It feels a little too personal. Too soon. Is that bad? Yeah, I can't say no to that face. Alright. Feeling a little awkward, I clear my throat. Let's go, Aoi. Sure thing, Shinichi. In the end, Aoi didn't show the photo to anyone that day. What do you guys think so far? I wonder where this is going. Yeah, it's... I wonder what's gonna get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I wonder when I'm gonna be... making my debut in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Lying in bed, I stare at my phone. Lonely little Aoi with a uh, nary friend to her name. She doesn't even know what friends are. Maybe this is fate. I'd at least like to have some uh, someone she can chat with at school in the morning. Admittedly, maybe I should just mind my own business, but I can't help myself. Come to think of it, I still haven't received that email I tried to send myself from her phone. And I sent a few her way after school. But no dice. As an experiment, I press the call button. She's not picking up. Does her phone really not get any service at all? I can picture her standing up there on the roof over the stairs. It's painfully ironic that she's self-styled uh, styled transceiver girl. Is the only one not picking up any signal. Same old classroom. Same old chatter. And there sits Owie. <clears throat> Staring into space at her desk, as per usual. She looks pretty bored. But she's still not have service. At this point, I'm starting to think maybe her phone is broken. Shinchi, Shinchi, come here. What do you want? I'm in the middle of. I'm begging you. It's important. <sighs> fine, fine. Reluctantly, I head to my seat. So, what is it? I need some advice. Please, when do you, uh, what do you have to be worried about? Shh, shh, shh. Keep your voice down, big mouth. Is it that serious? Dude, it's critical. Lives are at stake here. Okay, it's... It's this. You threw open his bag to show me a pair of... Panties? Yes, indeed. The very essence of a man's dreams. Uh. An artifact of male ambition. Yes, I get it. Thank you. Did you steal these? How dare you! I found them. You found them. I know. Right outside our front door. What? I found a dream lying right outside our front door. You said there's only four people in your family, right? I forget. Did you have an older sister? Nope. A younger sister, maybe. Nada de eso, compadre. Okay, then. What do you have? A dad, a mom, a little brother, and me. Uh. Uh. 
Tell me, Junshi, my brother in dreams. What do I do with this artifact? Whatever you want, I guess? Again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck have you done? Oh, I do. I... <laughs> if you don't want to say it, you can skip the word. I'm, I don't judge you. Can I fuck with it? Should I? Should I just go for it? Oh my god. But, on the top of chance, these are my moms. My dreams are dead! Sucks to be you. Good morning! Oh, dish. Oh god. You're okay. Uh, <laughs> good, good morning. With Miyuki's arrival, the classroom roars to life. She really is the star of the show. Ah, sunny sun, looking lovely as ever this morning. Itsuru gazes at her, enraptured. Here we go again, the same scene that plays out every morning. Or so I thought. Got it. Yoko-san? This time Aoi jumps to her feet, hands in the air, her eyes on Miyuki. That's weird. What's going on with her today? Oh god. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. That photo's probably still on Aoi's phone. Do you need me for something? Aoi is really sorry. She hangs her head. Yesterday was all my fault. Oh, right. That. Our classmates are watching this interaction with mild puzzlement. Sensing their confusion, Miyuki smiles. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You haven't done anything wrong. Will you forgive me? You don't need to ask forgiveness for something you haven't done, silly. Then, I has a favor to ask. A favor? I wants to be friends with Miyuki. Can we? Don't be silly. Miyuki puts on the most dazzling smile. We're in the same class, aren't we? Then we're already the best of friends. Friends. Is that all you needed? Um, can we trade email at... Sorry, I don't have the time right now. Maybe later. Uh, poof. Miyuki quickly ends the conversation, her smile unflinching. Moments later, the classroom is back to normal. Man, I wasn't expecting that at all. Me either. Ai returns to her desk and takes a seat. Her expression is as blank as ever, but her eyes are carefully fixed on the phone in her hands. Thing is, I've known Miyuki for quite uh for a long time. That dazzling smile of hers, it's completely fake. Miyuki, let's have lunch to- Sorry, I already have plans with some other friends. Oh. Also, I'd prefer if you didn't refer to me in that way. Got it. Miyuki, about the math homework. There's no point in doing it if you don't figure it out yourself. Then you see mine won't do you any favors on the long run. 
Okay. Yuki, you're so nice. Really? <laughs> Just don't expect me to call you. Also, could you please stop calling me that? Sorry. Yuki, do you want to team up for the art project? Stop calling me that. Sorry. Anyway, I have a specific friend I always team up with. The one about Tamar. Not tomorrow. Not ever. Now go ask someone else. Yuki. Let's hang out after school. You're doing it again. Sorry. I have rehearsal today, so I don't have all the time. I can wait. Rehearsal gets out pretty late. I can still wait. I'm probably going to hang out with the rest of the theater club afterwards. We're friends. So I will wait. <laughs> Suit yourself then. With her baseball bat slung over her shoulder, Miyuki leaves the classroom without a second glance. This is getting sad. Oh man, it's raining? I was busy actually doing my homework in the library for a change, so I hadn't noticed until now. There are no lights on in the old gymnasium building where the theater club rehearsals are held. I must have all gone home for the day. Beneath my trusty umbrella, I head out into the chilly autumn rain and make my way to the school gates. Just then, I spot a lone figure near the campus gate. No umbrella to be seen. Owie? Aoi stands perfectly still as the rain drenches her from head to toe. She stares out into empty space, just like she always has, uh, does in class. She doesn't even blink. Aoi. Hey! Aoi! Shinichi? Aoi turns to look at me as I hold my umbrella over her head. You're gonna catch a cold out here. A cold? You can't just stand out in the rain like that. Oh. You're right. It's raining. Apparently she hadn't noticed. Anyway, we need to get you inside before- Don't worry. There's no event CG for Aoi getting sick. Uh, right. There's that gamer brain again. Here, just take the umbrella. Are you trying to play Aoi's route? No, okay. Just take it. I'm way too chicken shit to share an umbrella with a girl. Instead, I take a folding umbrella out of my book bag. See? I have a backup. You shouldn't waste time raising my affection points. Gamer brain affects us all. Affects us all. I said I'm not! I'm helping you because you're my friend. Friend? Aoi ponders the word for a moment. Then finally she takes the umbrella. Oh. It's dry under here. That's how an umbrella's work- or that's how umbrellas work, genius. Come on, it's not like you never used an umbrella before- Hmm. Oh god, she totally hasn't, has she? Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, got it. Hmm? What's up? In times like these, you say... Thank you. 
Did I get it wrong? No, no, you're right. I wasn't expecting her to actually thank me. Then again, she apologized to Miyuki for what happened yesterday. So maybe I'm under uh, uh, underestimating her. I turned back to face her. You're very welcome. Shinichi, if you're my friend... Hi, Petro. I'm doing good. How are you? Then friends should walk home together. Can we? If you told me to uh, told me a week ago that I'd be walking home with a girl in my class, the infamous oddball Aoi, to be exact, I'd have laughed in your face. And yet here I am, doing exactly that. You know, friends ought to reply to their emails too. I'm just saying. You wrote me? Called you too. Now he quietly takes out her phone, or uh, takes her phone out of her pocket. No service. How is that possible when mine has three full bars and I'm standing right next to you? Maybe your phone's broken? That signal doesn't work like the others. It won't pick up without enough battery. Apparently, that's her explanation for why God won't answer her calls. It's gotta be broken. You should just buy a new... No. Why not? Does this one have a uh, sentimental value or something? Yes. This is my only way of contacting God. There she goes about God again. So... Who is this god, anyways? Friend of yours? God is just... God. Very powerful. God's the person who made Oi. Oh, I see. Hmm. Could she be referring to one of her parents? Somehow I doubt that. We did trade email addresses. Does that make us friends? Yeah, I'd say so. I remember us having the same conversation the other day. What about Miyuki? We haven't traded yet. So we're... Not friends? Now we continue to stare blankly out at the at nothing as the rain pours down. Miyuki knows Aoi would be waiting for her after rehearsal. They inadvertently miss each other? Or did Miyuki? Aoi wants to trade with her. Oi wants to be friends with her. Uh, if only I knew Miyuki's email address, then I could just give it to Aoi myself. But I haven't been that close to Miyuki in a long, long time. At this point, I can never hope to be again. All we can do now is pray to God, I guess. Do you live around here? doesn't live anywhere. What? Aoi sleeps in there. She points to a building on the outskirts of the shopping district. The city's sole manga cafe. Do you not get along with your family? No. It's not safe to roam the streets alone, you know. Aoi's used to it. So what? That still doesn't... Besides, they have computers and games in there. And yummy snacks. And as much soda as Oi wants. 
and no curfew. It's heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm at a total loss for words. Thank you for the umbrella. Bye bye. No, no problem. Take care of yourself, alright? Aoi totters in the manga cafe and vanishes from sight. As for me, I stare absently until, uh, after her until the patter of the rain drowns out everything around me. After running away from home, Aoi now lives alone in a manga cafe. God might be real, but there's no way that's heaven. There's just gotta be a happier ending out there for her. Surely God isn't the end-all be-all. Is there any way I can help her? Morning, Miyuki. It's another windy day today. Miyuki, wanna see my lunch? This candy makes your tongue turn funny colors. Miyuki, wanna play this game with me? Miyuki, wanna clean up together? Miyuki, wanna walk home to- Miyuki, wait. Miyuki. Miyuki. This game pretty sad, guys. <laughs> boop boop. Is this not my robot? <laughs> A body has been discovered. Hey, you two, let's grab some luck. Oh my god. I'm not hungry. What's up? Feeling sick? It's the panties. You ate them? No! That's my dad. Who they belong to? Uh, Zureo, thank you for the, uh, prey. Uh, I see. I'm not sure what I, I want to know the answer, but... Whose were they? Ryochi's. What the fuck? Your... Brothers? Yeah. Apparently, he bought them online to wear. He said he likes to cross us. Well, then, that's something. Jinchi, I, I. My love. Stop. <laughs> Don't finish that sentence. <laughs> my dream, my dream, I did. It's going to be okay, Captain. I know you'll find a new dream soon enough. For now, just give yourself some time to grieve. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You two nods tearfully. I have no idea what to do about this, but I guess I'll just give him a little pat on the shoulder. Ugh. As I'm heading back to the uh, from the cafeteria with my sandwich, I compensate returning to uh, the classroom. But I can't imagine either of us will be enjo uh, enjoy sitting there in silence together. Instead, I head to my favorite spot. The door's already unlocked. It's 
perfectly quiet up here on the roof. Not a soul to be seen. And she's probably all by herself. Just as I thought. I turn around to find Aoi standing quietly up on the roof over the stairs. Her eyes are fixed on something beyond the furthest re uh, reaches of the sky. Something formless and imperceivable. Or maybe she's not looking at anything at all. It's a bright, sunny day. As I look out at the clear blue autumn sky, I find myself wondering if God might actually answer the phone this time. I'm coming up there, okay? Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. It's crazy the difference a few extra meters can make. Up here, I'm greeted to a perfectly un unobstructed 360 degree view of the entire town. Talk about one hell of a view. Of course. Aoi doesn't take her eyes off the sky for a single moment. This is a special place. A secret spot at the apex of a forbidden land. Yeah, I could see why Aoi might feel that way. Did you eat lunch? Yeah. Next, there's a plastic to-go bag filled with trash. I can smell the faint traces of something that, uh, Chloe needs to eat. Like cake or jam? You should try to eat better. Better? You know, something with a balance of nutrients. Is that balanced? How I points to my, uh, the bag containing my lunch. Everything inside screams calorie-laden carbohydrates, from the yakisoba sub to the croquettes, uh, uh, to the curry buns. The thing about my lunch is... I've got one of these bad boys. Boop, boop. I set a small metal can down on in front of her. Yeah, Bailey's. Yeah, Bailey's. Oh, wait, no, it's you, sorry. Yeah, Bailey's orange. No. Tomato juice? This way I get a serving of veggies, too. Problem solved. Boop, boop. She stares at it like it's a relic from Area 51. Phew. Is it yummy? Yep. It's n actually not that great. Truth be told, I'm not a big fan of tomato juice. I just... Maybe accidentally hit the wrong button on the vending machine. Wanna try it? Is that okay? Sure. Hell, she can have the rest of it for all I care. Oh no. <laughs> no one clip it. She starts to drink. Oh no. And drink, and drink, and drink. Uh, Thank you for the holy water, Redeem. Uh, you downed it all in one go? Is that bad? No, no, I'm not mad or anything. Did you like it? Yeah. It's like curry or taiyaki. Or a melon bun, somewhere around there. I don't really get the comparison, but okay. I'm glad you liked it. Oh. Hmm? Was that an indirect kiss? Are you trying to trigger Aoi's route flag? Okay, now you ruined it. You really love video games, huh? This whole world is a game. Only his opinion has nothing to do with it. Right. Miyuki hates the idea of anyone treating reality like a game. But Aoi thinks they're one and the same. It's only natural uh it's only natural they'd never get along. And yet here I am trying to make it happen anyway. I'm sorry, Aoi. 
I'm the one who told you to for, uh, to make friends with her, and now it's my fault you got hurt. Oh, I got hurt. Aoi tilts her head. What's hurt? Well, it doesn't feel good when Miyuki blows you off every day, right? Boop, boop. Don't know. Aoi has a save file. Any mistakes can be reset. Oi just can just reload as many times as it takes. That's all there is to it. Right? I'm not sure what to tell her. Turns out she hasn't been enduring the pain. She didn't feel it to begin with. She tells herself she can fix her mistakes by starting over. Re-enabling her to run away from the harsh reality of her actions. Letting herself forget. I'm guessing she's never once thought critically about it either. Wrong. That's no way to live. She needs stability in life. And she needs friends. She needs she. Anyway, it's time to eat. Um, um, um. As I take a bite of my croquette, I make my decision. That night, after the sun sets, I leave the house. The wind ruffles my hair as I walk down by the riverside. Eventually, I arrive at an old, uh, uh, d d dilapidated indoor batting cage. I hear the sharp crack of a bat echoing from inside. The sound is infrequent as at best. As expected, there's only one customer inside. Her form is so beautiful. Captivates anyone who sees it. Assuming they aren't distracted by the flutter of her skirt. At least change out your uniform first. I'm practicing for rehearsal. What? I'm supposed to play softball in a school uniform. Ugh. Uh, what kind of play is this supposed to be again? I would make a retort, but the aesthetic of her swing renders me speechless. It's just... bewitching. Phew. Wanna turn? Nah, I'll pass. You used to love it, you know? Yeah, like a million years ago. Hardly. Whatever. I'm not here to play. I need to talk to you. About Miyoko-san, right? Uh, how did you know? It's written all over your face. You're going to tell me to make friends with her. As usual, she sees straight through me. Well, no sense of trying to beat around the bush now. I should just be honest with about uh, with her about how I feel. Please, Miyuki. How he needs a friend. Just, please just spend some time with her. Since when did you start calling her Aoi? Huh? Oh, uh, well... I'm afraid I have to decline. I can't possibly be friends with her. Are you still upset about the blackmail thing? No. She's been talking to you a lot since then, right? It's extremely annoying. But she's making an effort. Yeah, but she doesn't stop to think of how it makes me feel. Maybe if you were her friend, then you could teach her- Just stop! Her voice echoes through the building. Do you think it's easy being me? The thing about being popular is, the p is that people love to talk. Do you know how many people hate my guts? I never have been a social butterfly. I have to work hard to fit in at, at school. Surely you of all people understand that. I remember when we were younger. Back then, her natural talents alienated from her everyone else. She stuck out like a sore thumb. So yeah, she didn't turn into a queen bee by chance. But then there's Miyoko-san. 
claiming the world's just a game, having the time of her life in her little escapist fantasy. The only reason we can't be friends is because she doesn't actually want friends. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions about you. Miyuki takes a deep breath like she's trying to calm herself down. Likewise. I'm sorry for shouting at you like that. Nah, I mean, it was my fault. I hadn't realized exactly why Miyuki resented Aoi for conflicting reality with uh, video games. But, oh, I actually did not mean to do that. Blah, blah, blah. But Miyuki's been working hard to change herself. She's miserable, forced to put an act in front of all of her friends. It's only natural she'd find Aoi in, uh, infuriating when she dodges any personal responsibility by downplaying her mistakes. It's just... The thing is... Summoning the last dregs of my courage, I look Miyuki in the eye. That's exactly why I think she needs us around, you know? She's gonna mess her life up if she stays convinced that we can't uh, that she can just sweep all her mistakes under the rug. But maybe if we're there for her, we can get her to start talking or uh, taking life more seriously. Maybe she just needs a little push. That's why I want to help her take the first step. You really haven't changed a bit. Huh? Where did that come from? Fine. I give up. Miyuki's expression tells me she's resigned herself to her fate. You have a reasonable point, so I guess I'll help you out. Really? Awesome, thank you. But let me say this. For a fraction of a second, Miyuki looks away. She's got an ulterior motive. Yeah, and he doesn't just want to make friends with us. Her real goal is, to, is uh, blatantly obvious to be the third wheel that brings me and Miyuki together. Personally, I don't want to let myself get any closer to uh, Miyuki. We'll just both get hurt. I know that. But... All I want is for her to have a taste of what it's like to have real friends for once. Is this all for her sake, is it? For some reason, Miyuki seems a little sad. I'm probably just imagining it. I'll give it my best shot. I really appreciate it. In exchange, you will help me with something too. Miyuki grabs the baseball bat leaning against the wall. This baseball skills lended me the leading role in the upcoming performance. There's going to be uh, former graduates coming to see it and everything. This might be my big break. Wow. Aren't you even a little happy for me? <laughs> I am. Fingers crossed that everything works out. After all, the more distance between us, the better. I put on what I hope is a convincing smile. That said, I absolutely cannot afford to make a fool of myself up there on stage. For sure. I can't afford to embarrass myself. Mm-hmm. I can't afford to disgrace myself. Okay, I I get that part. And? Hello? Anybody in there? No, never mind. Wait, what? I changed my mind. Uh, about? I should just figure something out on my own. After all that, are you seriously gonna leave me hanging? Deal with it. You really enjoy digging me around, don't you? Well, it's just... It's my problem to handle. There she goes again. Just when I finally get the chance to speak to her alone, her bad habits start crawling out of the woodwork. You sure you got it all under control? Positive. Miyuki shoots me a determined look, and I heave a sigh. <sighs> right. Well, I know you're not a little kid anymore, but... You tend to pile your plate a little too high. 
you know what I mean. Hello, dead fish. How you doing? What? You put too much effort into your little classroom act, too. It's like you have a split personality. Sometimes I get the sense you're killing yourself over it. No, I'm not. I'm doing good. Yes, you are. Not true. Is so. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? What? <laughs> the tension breaks and Miyuki laughs. <laughs> God. It was just like the old times. <laughs> D does it? At the end of the day, I can't erase our history together. Well, if you ever need me, you know where to find me. I'm happy to help. Not like I got anything else going on. Loser. Shut up, tryhard. Miki grabs her bat and puts another coin in the machine. Thanks. She keeps her back turned to me as she speaks, then heads for the batter's box. There's just something about you that really makes me... Believe in you! Haha, <laughs> Wolfie, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Haven. Hope you enjoy your stay. Give me some wing flaps for your father. Ah, bah, 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 bah. The baseball rockets off into the night sky and disappears from sight. And for the briefest of moments, it feels like that ball might tear through the fabric of the universe into whatever lies beyond. God, these transistors are so fucking nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to talk to you about my dreams. Yuturu drops us on me the second I walk into the door. Oh, I gotta change the stuff classy. Thank you, Bob, for the redeem. I have to change to VTube Studio. Give me one second. Ba -ba -ba. Do that. And then do this. And then do this. No, it's okay. That's that's why it's a high point routine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It takes like a second. Ah, ba ba ba. Okay, I think it's all good now. YouTube Studio. There we go. Uh, what? I thought your dreams died or something. A moment, a man worries that his dream is dead. Then, when you know, it's the real deal. Uh, right. I'll take your word for it. Look inside your heart. No can do. So, what's up? It's about the dream I found outside. His brother's bootstrap panties. Right. I had a whole conversation with Ryojiro after that, and it turns out... He's a cross-player, whatever that means. So he likes to cosplay in women's clothes? Yeah, apparently they call it... Otokonoko, or Femboy. Something like that. Uh, right. I'll take your word for it. Look inside your heart. Real talk. I don't really get it. Anyway, what should I do? Do... about what part? I've never seen Yuturo so conflicted about something before. I let out a sigh. <sighs> What is it you want to do? He's got a job as a magazine mom, and he actually really pull off the look. Though he's not so much sexy as cutesy. He's just kind of weird, don't you think? I mean, it's definitely uncommon. Like, 
I want to support his life choices and all. I try to stay woke, you know? But when it's your family, it's just... It's hard to accept it right away. Man, I feel so stupid. I don't understand the first thing about him. Yuturu struggles to find the words. Before you ask, yes, he always is this tense. It's just how he is. I wouldn't tear your hair out if, about it if I were you personally. He keeps it to himself, uh, uh, he's ke kept it to himself for over ten years now, right? You've had, like, a day. Of course you're not gonna understand right away. Put it another way, all you need is a little time. Yeah. Do you think so? Good morning! Morning, Miyuki. Nice weather today. Poor Moko. It's only someone give her time of day. At this point, is it really... It's really kinda hard to watch. You never know. Today might be different. Different? How? Say, Miyoko-san, did you happen to finish your math homework? Homework? A math class, yes. Not yet. You're not busy at lunch, right? Why don't we go over it together? Boop, boop. Kawi freezes in place, as though time itself has come to a stop. Yes or no? You got it. Let's do it. Please tutor me. Just to FYI, I won't let you copy my answers. Got it. Just like that, I feel the mood of the classroom shift. Up until now, Miyuki has been blowing Aoi off left and right, and everyone else just went along with it. But now that Miyuki's changed her tune, it's possible the rest of the class will too. That's it! The answer was right in front of me all along! Uh, what's up, Yuturu? People can reach an understanding, as long as they try. Isn't that right, Shinichi? <laughs> Sure, that's one way uh, to look at it, I think. Oh, it's a uh, VN collab. I just need to give it a hundred and ten percent. That's okay. If I'm going to understand how Ryo Chiro feels, then that means I, too, need to start cross through. Yeah, good luck with that. At lunch. Nice and warm outside. I agreed to help you with your homework. We Nothing have a new more. angel. I certainly <laughs> don't remember agreeing to eat lunch together. Bob, thank you for the five giving us a what the heck, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah that make me that make me blush. <laughs> thank you. Come on, don't be like that. Here we are, up on the roof with our food. How are we going to get any studying done up here? Would you rather do this in the classroom? With me and her? In front of everyone? Mm. Miyuki draws enough attention just interacting with Aoi. The second I'm added to the mix, there'll be rumors flying by tomorrow morning. I don't like it up here. Reminds you of when you perceived your fake love to me, huh? <laughs> you you seriously need to forget that ever happened. I only 
they did it because Miyoko-san was acting so... Wait. What the? Where is she? Over there. I was standing on the roof over the stairs, uh, gazing out at the horizon. What is she doing? Maybe she'll go up there and find out. Smoke will rise and fools will climb, as they say. Enough with the proverbs. Come on. Miyuki reluctantly puts her hand on the first rung of the ladder. I should dare look up. I won't. I keep my eyes averted as I follow her up. When she reaches the top, Miyuki is immediately captivated by the view. Not that I blame her. It's not even my first time seeing it and it still takes my breath away. Pretty cool, huh? It's not like anything I've ever seen. This is a special place. I'm sorry. I need to apologize for making fun of you. When was that? Classic Aoi. Or like classy Aoi. <laughs> Aoi's hungry. Time to eat. Hmm. Good call. Clearly this is no time to be lost in thought. We each start to unpacking our meals. Chow time. Hold it! What, pray tell, is that? Koala munch. And that? Bunny ear tarts. And that? Mushroom monsters. On a bit of a chalk kick, are you? What about you? Who, me? Well, let's see here. I've got a potato salad sandwich, a jumbo croquette, and some candy yams. That's too much potato. <laughs> You're not wrong. I can't help it though. Potatoes are the best. Well, he really likes chocolate. You have to eat in you ought to eat it in moderation though. Don't worry. Always got your Baileys. Tomato juice. Problem oh. solved. The sight of those things together is making my stomach turn. Miyuki, do you want some? <laughs> no, thank you. But it's yummy, though. It'll make you zappy and recharge your battery. I said no thank you. Besides, I have a, my own perfectly good lunch right here. See? Miyuki opens the lid of her box lunch to reveal... Whoa. Octopus hot dogs. Apple rabbits. She's the ultimate childhood friend. Please. This is what a normal lunch looks like. You two need to shape up. You made the whole thing yourself, didn't you? Of course. Uh, uh, Miyuki's food is all so cute. So, so? What's wrong with putting cute stuff in my lunch? Sure, I'm not sure when your character comes around. I'm sorry. It should be the next scene. Oh, really? Ooh. I look it up. Ooh. Miyuki's cheeks flush pink. Uh. What? What's with you two? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not used to being called cute, are you? M maybe, but it's your fault for. Miyuki's cute when she's embarrassed. 
Stop making fun of me! And when she's ink. Okay, we have another nice. angel! <laughs> oh, <Hey>. so. <laughs> P. <laughs> so, thank you for the resub. How are you doing, dear friend? Tier 3 for 5 months. Jesus Christ, dude. My, my bad. Oh, we had voice acting. Because we all talked at once, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, Hidakimasu, yeah. We got a new dog, yo! Let me see that dog later, dude. What's wrong, Allie? That's weird. It tastes different. Is it past the expiration date or something? No. It tastes better this time. What? That doesn't make any. A song you listen to give you different feels. I love the Halo soundtrack. That gives me all the feels. It does. It just... Howie's tone is surprisingly firm. Probably because you're eating it with your friends. Plural? I'll have you know, I never agreed to that. Howie yeah. looks down sadly. Man, just when I thought things were actually going well too. Come on, Miyuki. Fine, whatever. Miyuki shifts uncomfortably. I guess. I mean, the view up here really is something special. Maybe it adds a little something to the food, you know? Really? Just a little. What about you, Shinichi? Grade A delicious. Admittedly, things are still a bit awkward. Maybe it's too early to call this friendship. But this is just the first step, and for Aoi, it's a big one. It's either this next scene or the one after. Okay. After we finish our food, we decide to spend the rest of the lunch on the roof together. I'm completely stuffed. Me too. Now then, let's get started on our English homework. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Yoko-san? Power... running low. Uh-oh. Is your battery dying? Knock it off. You haven't studied for home for the homework, have you? Boop boop. Studying takes a lot of battery power. It's too hard. Don't be ridiculous. Hey! Boop, boop, boop. Don't you fall asleep, Missy. Maybe you should drink some coffee to help you wake up? Coffee makes me pee. What are you, five? Okay, what other options is are there? Hmm, I don't know. This. Owie pulls something out of her pocket. Is that a hairpin? It looks like a little... It looks a little melted. All I used it to recharge. Stuck it into the wall socket and sat. Oh no. Won't you ever do that again? And it charged me right up, and... No. Really. Don't. <sighs> Why 
Uh, it's hot. It seems summer's rolled around once again. Wanna hit up uh, Kurakami? What's Kurakami? Kurakami Electronics, it's right down the street from the school. They sell ice cream there. Every now and then I go there after school with my friends. With your friends? Aoi oh, looks over at Miyuki. Miyuki, wanna go get ice cream too? Excuse me? <sighs> Chill, it's nothing. Just forget it, Miyuki. Miyuki's glare is so vicious, I can't help but dive in, uh, in to defuse the situation. Um, Shinichi? Miyuki's shooting sparks from her eyes. I think you pissed her off. How? Maybe the part where you called her Miyuki despite the fact she asked you a million times to stop? Alright, dead fish, no worries. That said, I get the feeling there's a bit more to it than that. <sighs> um, full. Me too. Now then, let's get started on our math homework. Uh, uh, battery too low. Let me guess. You need to recharge. <laughs> I had a feeling this would happen. As she speaks, Miyuki pulls something out of from her lunch bag. Uh, uh, that sound. That smell. It's your Bailey's. Want it? I can have it. Only if you promise to do your homework after you drink it. Uh, boop. Boop boop. Deal. One can of your Baileys will charge me right up. Perfect. Mayuki hands with the can. Go, 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 go. Ugh. Now he chugs it all down in one swallow, just like last time. Recharge complete. You really love your tomato juice, hmm? It's godlike. Want some? What? No, I. Don't be shy. Have some. Well, about that. Miyuki, do you not like tomatoes? I just don't feel the need to drink it. <laughs> That's all. To be fair, she does have tomatoes in her lunch already. Come on, don't knock it till you try it. I wasn't knocking it. Whatever. Let's start on our homework. Have fun. You're doing this too, mister. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of cake today. Uh, what did you buy all that for? They didn't have any sandwiches. Keep talking like that, and Miyuki's gonna cut you down to size. Right, Miyuki? Bit. The look in Miyuki's eyes suggests she's about to drag me to the guillotine. She's dead serious, too. Miyuki, your eyes are all zappy. Are you mad at us again? I'm not mad! Talk about deja vu. I feel like this happened just the other day, too. Oh, that's right. She got upset the uh, day Aoi invited her to get ice cream. Ah. Uh, hey, uh. 
By any chance, are you on a diet? Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a problem with how I choose to manage my weight? It's even scarier when she speaks in that perfectly t level tone of voice. Anyway, I don't mean to get snippy about it. I just got a lot writing on this next performance. Obviously, I'm going to want to watch my fig. Miyuki, are you not allowed to have sweets? You don't call me that. Got it. Ayoi shoots to her feet, her hand in the air. Yeah. What? What the heck are you doing? She just threw all her cake off the roof. The bag cuts a perfect arc in the sky as it disappears from sight. Do you realize how wasteful? I will need it. I will share your pain. That's what friends are for. Like I said, we're not. <sighs> Miyuki sighs and shakes her head, but she's smiling. But if I catch you wasting food like that again, I will not be Yeah, what if, what if you're just on the Can ground it's just raining cake in the air? <laughs> Free cake, dude! Boop, Down the hatch. Spot. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but... Is that really all you've been having for lunch? Yep. All Aoi brought for lunch today is a single can of Yabelis. Your parents won't make you anything to take to school? No. She lives in a manga cafe these days. A manga cafe? Yeah. I had no idea. Miyuki falls silent and looks at the ground. She seems to be complicating uh, something. Not that I blame her. Aoi's family situation is pretty heavy stuff. <laughs> Shinichi, is Miyuki mad at me? I don't think so, but... Miyoko-san! If you ever have any problems, I want you to come talk to me. I'm not sure I'll have a solution, but I'm happy to at least hear you out, at least. Hear me out? I'll give you some advice. Boop boop. Boop boop. Boop boop boop. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, though. Or you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, though. Got it. I just thought of one. One time, I almost got kicked out of the cafe. Wow! Those jerks! What happened? Power outage. The power went out? As Aoi put a hairpin in the wall socket. Oh my fucking god. Zap. Sounds like you deserved it. Boop, boop. Oh god, she did that at the cafe? Once again, Aoi's lunch is precisely one can of Bailey's. That is the spot. Uh. Aoi's gaze wanders to Miyuki's lunch. Not that I blame her. 
prepared to split it with me, Moko-san? In the... Oh, wait, oh, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh yeah. fuck, fuck. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> it's alright. Care to split it with me, Moko-san? It's hard because the faces aren't there, like Doki Doki. Right? Or, like, the images don't come up. <laughs> It doesn't help that their last names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get tongue twisted when I use them both in one word, <laughs> in one sentence. Uh, Miyuki pushes the container towards Aoi. You're still hungry, aren't you? But it's yours. I need to watch my calories. The place right around the corner, after all. Help me out, would you? <sighs> Say, ah! Uh, Mayuki waves an octopus hot dog under Aoi's nose. Uh, 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 Aoi's lips part like she's uh like she's entranced. Um, and it's gone. No, no. Mm, what is this? How is it? This is cheating. How is it cheating? Oh. I didn't even Sorry, <laughs> let me go back. There you go. I didn't even trick you or anything. No, that's how tasty it is. Oh, right. Thanks. As tasty as your Bailey's. Are you sure I can take that as a compliment? Pro probably. Here, have some. Really? You mean it? Did Christmas come early? No, you goof. I just made extra today. A classic childhood friend scene. I made it for my own sanity, okay? You people with your juice and carbs and cake. Eating nothing but garbage is bad for your mental health. You'll both eat it, won't you? Are you a Sundere? Sounds like you don't want any then! Not you, Gimme. Aoi is now fully aware how great Miyuki's cooking is. Personally, I've known for years. She's cooked for me a handful of times in the past. Itadakimasu. Yeah, Japanese, let's dig in, yay. Just like that, her chopsticks start flying. Calamari rings, hamburg steak, uh, chamoy dumplings, potato salad, octopus hot dogs, boiled spinach, steamed uh, hajiki, beef stew, dried radish strips, salted pickles. The food keeps coming and coming, and it's all delicious. How is it? Did you somehow get even better at cooking? <laughs> Maybe. I guess. I do cook every day. What about you, Yoko-san? Tastes like sundere. Wow, you must really not want any. Not true, Gimme. Your home cooking is godlike. Miyuki Zappi recharged 100%. I keep telling you! <sighs> For the love of God. Please stop calling me that. Can't you respect my wishes just once? Oh, um, okay. Miyuki san? Okay, never mind. Forget it. Miyuki it is, apparently. Ditto. 
終わりましたもちろん Are you mad at me? No, you didn't mess up. I guess I'm just used to you calling me Miyuki. <laughs> Sounds like you're allowed to keep uh, keep her going. Oh my god! Brutal! Smile! Thank you for the raid! How was your stream, friend? You're a knockout. Oh my god, that's a cute message. <laughs> Can we guys shut up for Brutal, please? What are you guys playing? Oh, Dead by Daylight. Nice, nice. Did you get some wins, friend? I hope you did. Uh, my name is Classy VT. I am playing through you, me, and her. I love her, my fellow voice actors here. Uh, X Way Spring VN collab. If you want to check out the voice actors here, uh, yeah, we're just we're just playing through, doing a casual playthrough for the first time for all of us. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy. I hope you had fun. Yeah. Oh, wait, did I say my line or did I mess up? Oh, I can't wing flap this avatar. I'm sorry. Oh, is it my turn? Uh, I think I might have not even said my voice line. Hold on. Um, sounds like you're allowed to uh, keep calling her that. Really? Is that okay, Miyuki? I suppose I have no choice. Um, in that case, Oli has a favor to ask too. Oh, well. What is it? Will you call me Oi? Pity, please. Seems fair to me. If I have to call her that, so do you. We're all friends, after all. Hmm. Uh, well, I did. I was the killer for the second time. Nice, nice. Hope you had a good, kill uh, good time killing people. Uh, Miyuki hesitates, but maybe she's not quite ready to bridge the gap. You don't want to? Oh, fine! Whatever! Okay, so... Um... All I have to do is call you Aoi? Mm. Uh... <laughs> hey, what's so funny? It's weird. Excuse you? I'm doing my best. Don't be so... <laughs> Relax, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not afraid! Miyuki is as red as a tomato. <laughs> she totally is! Enough! If you're going to laugh at me, then I'm going back to calling you Miyoko-san, and... I don't think so, Missy. No take backsies. Right, Aoi? Miyoko-san sucks. Aoi is better. <clears throat> I'm just snitch out with playing waifu bot while doing this. I don't care if she's playing waifu bot. <laughs> Get them damn waifus. Uh, Miyuki is so hilarious when she's flustered. In the end, I failed to contain my laughter for quite some time. Is it Chiro time? It might be Chiro time. I hope, I hope so. <laughs> Chiro gets the ending. <laughs> Chiro becomes the main character. Oh my god, it's not. My <laughs> name Miyuki. Morning, good morning. Um, uh, Ayoi. Is that me? No, that's Dish. Am I... No, that's Dish. Oh. No, that's Dish. <laughs> hmm. Seems like this two have finally hit it off, huh? Yep. Ever since Miyuki and Oi started spending lunch together, the vibes in the classroom have started to change. Their conversations don't draw attention anymore. Plus, I always manage to have a few conversations with other people too. All thanks to the ben uh, benevolent Queen Miyuki. What the fuck? I don't um... know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. Your eye, dude. That reminds me. How'd it go with your bro- Whoa! I glanced over at Yuturu and promptly recoil. It's covered in bumps and bruises. What happened to you? This is literally the comedy relief character. It's a long story, but our parents found out about your secret hobby. No way! For real? He had permission from the folks to get his own place. Said he needed a dressing room for his modeling gig. Said he was hiding a metric. Fuck ton of nerdy shit in there. What? But your dad's. Yep, he's an authoritarian hard ass, and naturally he flew to shit. Seriously, he was practically ready to set fire to the place. I can totally see him doing it too. But for some reason, his. Attitude really set me off, and that was the moment to realize my brother's crossplay hobby means the world to him. The same way I feel about the BD club. So I jumped to his defense, figured it was the right thing to do. Told myself, I don't care if this whole world judges him for it. If that is his dream, then I'll support that. And then the fight got physical. Damn, that sounds like hell. But thanks to that, I finally got where Nijiro is coming from. The rain is gone, and I see clearly. Or however the song goes. Yuturu beams brightly with it through his swelling. The dude's normally a total dipshit, but today he strikes me as actually kind of a badass. Kinichi! Keep your eyes shut. Got it? I know, I know. This wouldn't be an issue if I climbed up first, you know. Uh, obviously, I realize that. It's a matter of courtesy. Ladies first. Showing off your ditzy side. No! Even with my eyes closed, I can tell Miyuki's blushing. Okay, Miyuki made it. Shinichi, it's your turn. Cool. With my eyes still closed, I put my hand on the first rung and, and slowly work my way up. And once I reach the top, I open my eyes. Uh, the view is truly breathtaking. I already know what to expect, but yet it captivates me regardless. And as for Miyuki... It would appear she feels the same way. It's so beautiful. I feel a little dumb for stating the obvious, but I can't help it. You really ought to thank Aoi for bringing us up here. Got it. I will take a photo. A photo? Oh, that sounds nice. Let's take a selfie. All three of us. Nah, I'll pass. I'll be the cameraman. No. No. Looks like we're on the same page. <laughs> Fine, whatever. If they're both dead set on this, then there's no arguing my way out. You've got a front-facing camera. 
Yeah. Bit of a tight fit. Huh. My arm's too short. Kanichi, get closer! I don't know if I can. Please hurry it up. Okay. Three, two, one. Got it. Let me see. Nice! Not bad at all. You can tell I got squashed between you two, though. Wait, what the? Is Howie actually smiling in this picture? Oh, you're totally right. She is. Smiling? See? Look at your mouth there. That's gotta be a smile. How'd that happen? Probably because he felt happy. Happy? Howie? Happy? Howie mutters to herself, complicating the concept. Looking at this photo, it feels like she's finally starting to step out of her world and into ours, and her smile is contagious. Hey, Aoi, would you send this picture to my phone? Oh, wait. I haven't told you my email address yet. Have I? Well, while we're at it, I'll give you my number and... Email address. Let's trade. Sure. Okay, now you give me yours. There. All done. Got it. Miyuki? Does this make us... friends? Hmm? Oh yeah, about that. To Aoi, exchanging email addresses is a sort of... symbol of friendship, as it were. Oh... See, that's why she's been so eager to do it. Exactly. The two of us share a chuckle. <laughs> Are we... not friends? Aoi asks in a small voice. Miyuki leans over. We've been friends the whole time, silly. Ugh. Just like that, Aoi's face lights up with another one of those contagious smiles. <laughs> now then, give me a test call. Boop, boop. Calling now. A moment of silence passes. Not getting the call, apparently. Boop, boop. I have full bars, though. Shinichi, could you try calling me? What? I don't even have your number. What? Really? Okay, then. While we're at it, here you go. Huh? Miyuki thrusts her phone at me unpromptly. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? You don't have an email address, right? Let's trade. What? It's cool, we don't we don't have to. But Shinichi and Miyuki and Oi we're all friends. Right? You heard the woman. Uh, sighing loudly, I opened my address book. Just like that, her number is now etched into my phone's memory. As a test, I shoot her a quick call. Thank you. That's quite the girly ringtone you have. Oh wait, thank you for the host. How you doing? <laughs> so what if it is? Yeah, I'm baby mode. Miyuki brushes or uh, blushes bright red. Anyway, moving on. 
With this, we've confirmed my number does in fact work. In which case, it's probably... Airhead. Owie shakes her head sadly. Still no service. Yeah, I had a feeling that was it. Just when we finally became friends for real. If God won't answer the phone, then all we can't save. Save what? There goes her gamer brain again. Though if this really was a game, I wouldn't blame her for wanting to save here and uh, memorize the birth of a friendship. Is that... should I save? I haven't saved at all. Oh my god. I feel like that might be telling me something. Randomly crashes? Yeah. <laughs> Your calls never do seem to go through. Maybe the signal's weak up here. That's definitely not it. The school is the starting point for the universe. And this is the central point of the school. So this is the center of the universe. Most people would probably laugh it off as crazy talk. Hell, I was one of them until recently. But now, I start thinking maybe she's right. And apparently Miyuki's been thinking the same thing. Well, it certainly feels that way. It's true. It all starts here. Then, eventually, it ends here. More video game nonsense. No, this is about God. At last, Aoi and Miyuki are officially friends. Not that I help much. Still, I feel a deep sense of pride at her accomplishment. Feels like she's taking another step forward. A baby step, but a step nonetheless. Friends, huh? My fingers mindlessly wander over my phone screen. Before I know it, I've opened Miyuki's entry in my address book. Before I met Aoi, I would never imagine something like this happening. But now, with the tap of a button, I can contact Miyuki anytime I want. Just like that, we're worlds closer. Time and distance are uh, irrelevant now. No, that's stupid. I'm deluding myself. It's just an entry in an address book, meaningless data. Ones and zeros. Nothing more or less than that. The emotional distance between us hasn't changed. I'm sure Miyuki knows that as well as I do. That reminds me. I still haven't gotten that photo from Maui. Did she forget to send it? Or is her phone still out of service? Sorry to interrupt. I peek my head through the door. The gym is devoid of life. Did rehearsal end already? The only sound is a faint hum of the stage lighting. Uh, Miyuki? I can feel the zappy. Miyuki's over that way. What the? Aoi, what are you doing? Boop, boop. Shinichi, aren't you coming too? Uh, right, of course. Her expression is as blank as ever, but she seems unsuper unusually uh, spirited. I hurry after her towards the backstage area. Oh? It's a Chiro. Uh. Oh, hi. Someone steps out of the prop closet. Sorry to bother you, we're looking for... 
She immediately jumps back inside and shuts the door. She ran away. Was it something I said? Are you upset? Who wouldn't be upset right now? Cute girl just took one look at me and ran away screaming. Uh, um... Oh, hi again. She's back. A single eye peeks out from the crack in the door. I'm really sorry. I'm just kind of shy, so the second I saw a familiar face, I freaked out. You're looking for Sona Senpai, right? Uh, I'll go get her. With that, she disappears into the prop closet, shutting the door carefully behind her. What a timid girl. Wait, what? She recognized my face? A new romance option. You better not cheat. What? I wouldn't... How dare you, Shinichi? <laughs> what on earth did you do to poor Haru-chan? I heard her screaming out here! I didn't do anything! He's too timing. You timing? No! How can I cheat on a girlfriend I don't have? Well, I guess you got a point there. Anyway, did rehearsal end already? Mm hmm. Just finished a few moments ago. Oh, I wanted to see it. No spoiling the surprise now. Once the debut performs rolls around, I'll let you see my glorious full swing in action. You're so cool. <laughs> Miyuki's practice swing leaves Aoi speechless. Meanwhile, Miyuki seems to be in high spirits. Wanna try swinging it? Oh, yes, me. Wanna try swinging it around yourself? Really? Of course. In that case, why don't we hit up the batting cages? Batting cages? I don't know. I mean, the equipment's all worn down. It might not be much fun to go as a group. Pretty please. Oh, he wants to go. Come on, Miyuki. Just this once? God. Fine. Whatever. Let's all swing by there tomorrow. Thank you, Miyuki. It's no big deal. You don't have to thank me. Anyway, come on. Let's go home. Oh, that reminds me. Just as we pass through the school gates, Miyuki stops short. Sorry, I forgot something. You two wait here. She promptly spins on her heel and heads back the way she came, or the way we came. Miyuki forgot something? That's unusual. Maybe your two timing traumatized her. I told you, Miyuki and I are just friends. It's impossible to two time someone you aren't dating. Got it. Now his hand shoots up into the late afternoon sky, straight as an arrow. There's a bug in Miyuki's route. You act like you don't want to get closer to her. But that's only because you secretly do want to. Right? That... Now that we're all friends, it's easy to forget that Aoi's true objective is to play Cupid for me and Miyuki. It's not cool to treat real-life people as routes in a visual novel. People don't exist just so you can date them. Aoi does, though. Aoi was made to romance. That's the whole reason God created me. No, it isn't! I refuse to believe that. Too shy to admit it? Or... Boop, boop. 
Do you want me? Excuse me? Always an option too, you know. Stop talking like that. Are you worried about me, Yuki? Don't be. There's nothing wrong with wanting more. You can just use me and... I said stop! How he stares blankly at me. Listen, I need you to promise me that you'll never talk about that stuff in public ever again. Got it? Why not? Isn't it obvious? We're friends and I care about you. Friends? You're not some toy created by God. Seriously, you need to have some self-respect. Wait, what the hell? Or what the... Owie. What's wrong? What do you mean? You know what I mean, you're... <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing. What the... What's happening? Tiny droplets stream down her face, glittering in the sunset. Tears. Now he's crying in the middle of the street. What's the matter? Are you... He me? You're okay. Stop right there! Whoa! What the hell? Miyuki just whacked me over the head with her goddamn metal baseball bat. Unbelievable. What in God's name did you think you were doing, Jinichi? How could you make her cry? Ayoi, are you okay? Did Shinichi do something to upset oh, you? Sorry. No, what the The tears won't stop falling. I'll fight the pain. Just let it all out. Pain? No. Always. Happy. Happy? Yeah. Shinichi said something nice. And it made me really happy. Then, these are, uh, happy tears, I take it? Happy tears? Are you proud of yourself? You hit me for no reason. <laughs> Shut up! If you'd be in my shoes, I'm sure you would jump to the same conclusion and... <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. I glare at her silently until she apologizes. Well, you didn't hit me that hard. And it didn't do any permanent damage, so it's fine. But try to give me the benefit of the doubt next time. Alright? Okay, I won't do it again. I promise. To be fair, I can understand her panic. I had trouble processing the situation myself. I mean, Aoi? Crying? Until, until yesterday, I never thought would have imagined uh, it was possible. But now I feel like my effort is starting to pay off at last. Um, I can't really pretend this is a token of my apology, but... I bought these for everyone. That's... Ice cream from Kurokami Electronics. It says sweet and cold and yummy. Yeah, this is delicious. It's heavenly. I had a feeling it wasn't like Miyuki to just forget something. Turns out she just wanted to surprise us with ice cream. Got it. Miyuki, are you crying? Uh, no! I'm not crying! Are you sad? Are you in pain? Or are those happy tears? Shut up and let me enjoy this. 
You're the one who wants to get ice cream together. So I add an extra morning workout to my daily routine. All for you! You went to all that trouble for this? She really is an actress, though, uh, through and through. Of course. I mean, what are friends for? Yuki. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you, Ayoi. The two smile at each other. Mel's full of ice cream and not a trace of misery to be seen. I think that might be a good place to end it, since we are approaching the three-hour mark. I don't want to do it in the middle of a scene. So I will save here. Alright, save file. Hell yeah! What do you guys think so far? Worried. Worried? <laughs> it's <laughs> too many good things are happening. Oh, I like the title screen. It's a cute title screen. <laughs> My character went completely away. Um, yeah, your character did like a 180 and then like came back around after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Side of the story. Yeah. <laughs> <In> his character. <laughs> I was, I was, um, how do you say? I, I was happy that I could just be muted that whole time because I just kept. Uh, oh, dude, I was doing my best. <laughs> I could hear it. <laughs> yeah, I was like snickering. Oh my fucking god, dude. Uh, it was funny. Oh my god. This is the one time you hear me say these things. Once. <laughs> Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. No. No. This is the first time I've heard Chiru be so adorable. What the fuck? I think all your voices fit the characters amazingly. I kind of like how it starts off with Aoi being like really quiet and like a robot almost, and then she starts gaining a personality very slowly. I think it's a nice touch. It worries me. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> gonna be really sad. But I mean, yeah. that's visual novels for you. Always. Yeah. So we will be back next Saturday to continue our adventure through the game. Uh, I will be live on Tuesday. Uh, what am I doing Tuesday? What am I playing? I don't even know what I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing Hunt Showdown. I'm either doing solos or I might try and grab Haku to see if he wants to play duos with me. But yeah, and Dish, if you want to come see, you can play it too, because I know you have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, I'm taking tomorrow off because I work tomorrow, and I'm taking Monday off because I'm hanging with some friends on Monday. But yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday. I'm going to send you all to my friend Ambi, who is playing Super Animal Royale. And they are a Red Panda VTuber. And yeah, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for all the support today. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. After this ad stops playing. Adios. Bye-bye. Ah, this is the whole last 30-second ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Candyman ad, dude. That movie looks scary. I can't wait. I'm excited. Let's go. The TCA for Dead by Daylight's new uh, killer. Oh, out. raid message. Everyone's You're right. crying. Everyone's crying. We want Candyman. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Candyman. Wait, they want a Candyman for Dead by Daylight? They, there's a lot of people that have been asking for it for a while. Oh, my goodness. It's been sent. Let's go, though. Yeah. What the hell is this?